All right, kids, we're going to be doing something we don't normally do around these parts. We're actually going to be reviewing some vegan-friendly food. Yeah, I know the guy who does Taco Bell reviews and just covered the meat mountain. I know the idea of me doing a uh, field roast or a celebration roast or a, whatever this thing is. A butternut squash apple something. And mushroom. Okay, so it's primary ingredients. All right, so I've been seeing this on store shelves since uh, probably like around Thanksgiving. I've been wanting to give it a try for quite some time. And it is uh, fairly expensive. It's like six dollars, but I saw it marked down to just uh, look two fifty. So obviously, I'm like, well, you know, if it's two fifty, I'm gonna give me some uh, some vegan novelty food because I don't review it enough. And uh, I hate to start off on a sour note, but I think I know why I got it for such a very uh, cheap price. Look at the expiration date there, two eleven seventeen. And uh, in case you can't tell, it's almost uh, April. So I actually went to a grocery store and they've been selling this past its expiration date for almost two months. So yeah, for you guys there, I need to get in touch with at 3901 7th Avenue Street in Seattle. There's a store in Atlanta which is selling your stuff way past expiration date. But besides, it really doesn't matter because, I mean, it's not real meat, so it doesn't really go bad per se. Look at the ingredients there. It's, you know, it's kind of weird that for organic food, there are a lot of synthetic ingredients here, but that's beyond me. And uh, lots of ways to eat it. You can eat it frozen, you can have it refrigerated. Uh, you got butternut squash in there. You can just read that over for yourself, just hit the freeze button. And uh, the nutrition facts here are uh, about three ounces. So, yeah, if you eat this entire thing, that's pretty close to being a thousand calories. So, I mean, it's got some it's got some meat to it. I mean, it's not a mamby pamby vegan thing. I mean, it'll, it'll do you. If it needs to do you, it will do you. So, yeah, and there's lots of ways to eat it. That's what really attracted me to it. So I might try some variations here. You can serve it hot or cold, put it in the oven, microwave it, just serve cold, just put it on a sandwich. So I think uh, over the next couple days I'm going to try out various ways of eating this field roast, this artisan vegan thing from, who actually makes this? The original field roast grain meat company. Anyway, I'm going to try this. It's a blend of European and Asian heritage, so you know it's going to be pretentious. I can't wait. Let's give it a try. All right, and here is the completed product. Apologize for one moment the sound we're going to have here. There's your general overview. It's pretty hefty. I mean, it says about five ounces, so it is. It's a rather large uh, little vegetarian meatloaf thingy. Let me turn around real quick here. Oh, oh goodness, Bill's palsy is acting up. And there's uh, you know, the butternut squash and the apple stuff, everything else stays in it. One thing that really strikes me about this thing is it's coated in a very, very mysterious uh, orange sauce. And to be honest with you, as soon as I opened it up, you know, I had to go in there and you know, get the scissors out and dig through it. It reminded me of something I haven't uh, had in years and years. It reminds me of the meatballs in the, um, you know, what's it called? Like uh, uh, the Franco-American stuff. You know, the little canned uh, spaghetti when it comes to meatballs. It smells and tastes just like that. I had a little bit of the sauce. But I haven't had the full Monty. So let's hurry up and get this thing microwaved and actually give it a taste test, why don't we? All right, let's do it. It smells just like Franco-American meatballs. It's the craziest thing, y'all. Craziest thing. All right, so I suppose we're going to do things very, very basically. Here's what uh, the microwave loaf looks like after about two minutes in the microwave. Uh, as you can tell, it really doesn't change colors all that much, to be honest with you. Uh, looks pretty much like it does non-microwave, but that's kind of beside the point. It really doesn't matter that much. What matters is, how's it taste when you put it on a loaf of whole grain bread there? Okay, you can't see the whole grain bread. Hold on. It's worth it. Bam. So it's going to slice this little baby here up in a little half here. Make ourselves a sandwich. Also, it's really, really kind of hard to cut. Uh, I've known I reviewed like the little uh, faux tofurkey things quite a few times, and, and the holiday roasted variation. So it's, I suppose it's a similar idea. Same basic concept. Wow, this thing is putting up a fight. This may be a nature trying to tell me to run while I still can. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to worry too much. All right, there we go. Here's our slice. I'm going to slap it down right there and give you a look at the final product. Wow, that's not showing up at all, is it? 
Yeah, how about now? There we go. Now it's a bit more static. There's the loaf in all of its glory. And I guess the only thing left to do now is to actually just give this some bitch a try. Let's do it. All right, are you ready? This is it, we're going live. There's no test uh, warning shot. We got this thing lined up. There it is in a loaf of bread. Let's give it a try. All right, so this is me actually eating it for the first time in real life. Like no joke. Mmm. 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 Nope, still not there. It's very chewy. Um. Mmm. Ooh, that's dry. I don't think I need me some uh, soda after that one. All right, so basically, when I got this thing out of the little package, little plastic sleeve, and I microwaved it, the first thought was, wow, this tastes, or not taste, it smells a lot like the Franco-American meatballs you get in your can of, uh, you know, Where's Waldo or Life with Louie canned pasta. And folks, that is exactly what this stuff tastes like. It tastes like Franco-American meatballs, except it's not one meatball. It's literally the biggest meatball in the history of Franco-America. That's exactly what this thing tastes like. In fact, it tastes so much like that. Now I'm beginning to wonder that maybe those weren't real meatballs back in the day. They were artificial butternut squash and apple and whatever the hell else they have in here. But yeah, it's one of those things where I'm not a vegetarian anymore, but I used to be. But I still have a certain affinity for vegetarian food. I like sort of the synthetic meat stuff, uh, anything tofu related. I really enjoy the taste and texture. So naturally, I really, really like this stuff. Uh, obviously, if you're not a big fan of it, and you're a guy who eats BLTs every day, probably not going to enjoy this one. But if you ever had the Franco-American meatballs, I keep telling you kids, you got to hear this. If you remember those, that is exactly what this tastes like. And to me, at least, that's, that's like a dream come true. It's like a dream food. I've been wanting to eat a giant Franco-American meatball for really my entire life at this point. All right, so final thoughts. Uh, it tastes very good. Like I said, this thing may or may not be expired by two months, so the general taste texture could be off a little bit. But even so, I think it's pretty good. If it is expired, it's the best expired food I've ever had. Um, haven't tried it cold, but I figure it's like eating cold pizza. You know, just warm it up. Very few foods except ice cream are better warm. And uh, versatile, I mean, it is a little dry. You're going to need some sauce to go along with this. You need some cheese. But it's not like you do a lot of stuff with it. I mean, you get a lot of food for only uh, $2.50 if it's on sale. Even for $6, it's still a pretty good amount of food. It seems versatile enough. You can put it in spaghetti, put it on your pizza, make sandwiches out of it, just eat it raw. I mean, it seems like it's actually a legitimately good product. And I'm surprised by the taste and texture and overall quality. All right, so that is the... Um, Celebration roast from the Field Vegetable Co. or company, or whatever it's called. I enjoyed it. You may or may not enjoy it, but if you ever wanted to eat a giant Franco-American meatball, buddy, you need to go try this thing uh, like yesterday because it's actually really shockingly decent.